Hi everyone, my name is Gracie and welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be doing um, my much anticipated manga haul. Um, it was my birthday on the 2nd of August so I decided to pop into town in um, Bristol and do a manga shop because I've been saving up some money. Um, I haven't really done like a massive manga shop, well, ever. <laughs> um, but I haven't actually like bought any manga in years. Um, I did start collecting when I was like 15, 16. It was like a couple volumes here and there, but yeah, I stopped for a while because I had other expenses to pay out for, um, like college and uni. So I kind of just stopped collecting manga, but yeah, I saved up some money. And as you can see here, I did a massive manga haul. Um, so yeah, just, I haven't collected in a while. I haven't read in a while, in all honesty. And I wanted to get a couple of volumes. So without further ado, I'm going to be going through all the volumes I got. Um, and yeah, I do have some more on the way, um, such as volumes one and zebra three, I believe, of A Tropical Fish Urines for Snow. Um, and then I'll only have one more, ma uh, one more volume until that is completed. Um, yeah, so without further ado, let's get on to the haul. So the first series slash volumes I'm going to be going through are fly me to the moon um i originally watched the manga about a year ago with my boyfriend um we find it on crunchyroll um and i kind of seen clips here and there um through like youtube and tiktok and stuff and it looked really really cool so i really wanted to watch it so we kind of stuck got stuck into that we finished the anime um so i decided to get the manga i know it's still ongoing so once i complete what's out now um, I will be pre-ordering the future volumes because I know it's definitely it's going to be like a definite series that I'm going to enjoy. Um, so I have volume one. I absolutely love the look of these covers. They are amazing. They're just everything I could wish for. Um, so I got volume one. I got volume six. These are all the ones I could find um, in the shops. Um, obviously, I would have got like the complete, well, the complete series what's out now um, if they had them all. Um, but sadly, they didn't. So I got one, six, I got seven. These covers are honestly to die for. I absolutely love them. I also got eight. I'm just going to show you the volumes, um, I will do kind of like a, um, right at the end I will kind of just do like an overview of all of the ones I've got, just so you can kind of see them all together and what I actually got. I also got 9, I got 10, I love this cover, this cover is honestly so adorable, I love it so much, um, and I got 11. So that's it for Fly Me To Moon, that is volumes 1, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and 11. So I don't have that many volumes um, to collect to complete the full series that's out. Um, I'm pretty sure you can pre-order, it's either volume 13 or volume 14 at the moment. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do that and then before that comes out I will obviously collect the remaining volumes of these ones. Another series that I've collected, um, I've got... There's only two volumes at the moment, and I got them both, um, and that is Ima Koi. Um, this series is so adorable so far. I'm actually really enjoying it. I am kind of like that hopeless romantic reader. Um, so these two kind of like, yeah, they're really, really cool so far. I can't wait to see how the story progresses. Um, this is what volume one looks like, and this is what volume two looks like. So yeah, um, these two are, yeah, like I said, the story's great, I love it, it might not be for everyone, um, I know kind of like what I give a high rating, some others give like one star, two star, um, but you know, it's gonna be different for everyone, but yeah, I personally really love this series so far. 
And next on my list is mint chocolate. I got volume one, I got volume three, and I got volume four. And oh my god, I've kind of loved the um the title ever since it got released. Um I've kind of only discovered it a couple months ago. Um a lot of manga that I'm into now I've only like recently discovered. Um but yeah, just what's the name? Mint chocolate and the art art style is right up my alley. Just the covers look cute, the storyline looks cute. I haven't actually read them yet. Um I will pop up like price ranges for all of them and what I have and haven't read yet. Um but yeah I can't wait to start these just they're so adorable and yeah next on my list we have a um series that's kind of very hit or miss with people at the moment like you get see people some people that absolutely adore it some people that are just like please throw it out the window um and that is lovesick ellie um i'm kind of very at the moment i'm very indifferent on it um i do kind of like it um, I have read all four volumes at the moment. I know you can pre-order up to eight. I think it's either seven or eight at the moment, volume-wise. Um, yeah, I kind of like it. Like, you know, I'm very much a Twitter addict. So that storyline was kind of, like, really up my alley. Um, and yeah, it's kind of like... The main, uh, Ellie is obviously the main girl. Um, she writes all like her thoughts and her feelings on Twitter is like anonymous, um, hence where the name Lovesick Ellie came from, that's her account. Um, and yeah. Next on my list, we have a series I've been dying to get for months. Um, I will put my hands up now and say I don't actually know what the story is about yet, um, but the title got me and I absolutely adore the covers. So I know I'm gonna enjoy it, and that is a tropical fish yearns for snow. Um, when I first heard it, I thought it was gonna be kind of like a um, oh, what's that series called? I really, really enjoy it. Um, go on Netflix. It's the series about the kids that um like live underwater and then they go to school on land. Um, I thought it was originally gonna be a lot like that so i will have to read it and let everybody know um but what a title honestly like, i'm gonna say that about a lot of them um but yeah the title really drew me in especially since obviously um that series i really do enjoy i'm gonna forget the name i'm gonna pop it up on screen i'm like the most forgetful person ever even when it comes to like my favorite things um but yeah so I got this is a series as well i've literally just placed an order on blackwells for um volumes one and three um and then i think nine volume nine is going to be i'm pretty sure it's the last in the series so once i've got volume nine i will have a complete collection which i'm really excited to have um but yeah so we have volume two we have volume four we have volume Five. I can't count. <laughs> we got volume six. We got volume seven. And we got volume eight. Um, again, this was a case of they didn't have the entire series when I was looking for it. Um, I did take a list with me and kind of like prioritize a lot of the anime, uh, a lot of the manga I wanted to get. This was obviously a high priority, um, and as soon as I got it, I was like, yes, no, I'm having it. I do not care, like, if I have to put other manga back, I will, but this was, like, my one series I wanted to get. Um, so I'm happy I got, like, 85% of it, which is great. Um, I've obviously got volumes one and three coming as well, so I can actually start it. Um, and yeah, soon it will be a complete series on my shelf, and I'm really excited to have it. Next! in my pile i have kubo won't let me be invisible um i'm pretty sure there's only one volume out at the moment um i bought i bought this purely because i've been seeing it on tiktok lately um and a lot of people have been raving about it so i decided to get it i haven't read it yet i know it's only one volume but i work monday to friday so i have been swamped with work and i've been really tired um 
but yeah so i can't read i can't wait to read this this next one um <laughs> i originally wanted purely because the covers were like bright in your face and oh my god um and then i started watching the anime and <laughs> it's yeah it's gonna be a very hit or miss one with a lot of people um i personally very enjoy it because it's very funny um and that is life lessons with uramichi onisan um <laughs> the storyline behind this is basically Uramichi Onisan um, is a kids show host um, and he does like a lot of TV shows with kids um, but he is very <laughs> he's a bit depressed um, and a lot of the humour comes from like he's doing all these upbeat things with kids and then all of a sudden he goes really really dark and he starts teaching these kids like or like kind of like the bad things about adulthood and money troubles and stuff like that and it is just it happens in the very first episode of the anime as well um and it's very much like a very quick term but it's really really funny to watch how these kids react they're a bit like what <laughs> like what is this um and it all gets like put on tv and everything it's all live um which makes it even funnier because it's all very out of the blue. Um, another pickup from Forbidden Planet is Phantom of the Idol. Now, this has only recently come out. Um, the second volume came out on the 27th of July. So this is a very, very new series over in the West, where at least in the UK, I don't know about America. Um, I read this, I absolutely love it. I know this will probably again be a hit or miss series, um, there is an anime out at the moment, I'm pretty sure it's got seven episodes at the moment, um, I don't know whether that's a Japan only thing at the moment or whether they've had it dubbed slash subbed, um, so I'm super excited to read that, I'm super excited to get volume 2 and then pre-order volume 3. Right, let's move on to something a little different, um, I do have three different volumes, not all the same series, one of them's still over there so I'll get to that one, so we're going to move on to some BL, which if you're new to the community or don't actually know, it stands for boy love, um, I have puppy love. Now, this again I bought purely because... I want it purely because of the cover. It's absolutely adorable. I am a sucker for adorable things. Um, I'm a sucker again for romantic and cutesy kind of plot lines. Um, but yeah, so this is, I'm really excited to read this. I can't wait to read this. Um, yeah, another BL that I picked up is Deku Boku Bittersweet Days. Um, the thing, right. So the thing is with this, what I'm kind of a bit confused about is there's another one in this series, um, I can't remember what it's called, I'll put it up on screen, um, post-editing, but there's two of these. Now I don't actually know if it's a series because it doesn't have volume numbers or whether they can be used, like read as standalones, um, however, again, really really cute cover is what drew me in. Um, the blurb seems really, really cool as well. I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, I know a lot of BL can be obviously classed as sexual content. This one is classed as an 18 plus, whereas Popular Love is classed as 16 plus. Um, they both do have content warnings for nudity and sexual content. However, I've not read both of them, so I cannot advise you whether, like how mild or wild it is. <laughs> Um, yeah, again, look at the back, adorable, great art, can't wait for you to read this. So I've got a couple more volumes in this series, um, I say a couple more, I don't even have any in this series, um, but, short cake cake, that's upside down, I'm sorry, short cake cake, um, <laughs> it's a series I've been wanting for a while again, um, it kind of was a priority on my list, I didn't get many because, again, I couldn't find many in any of the shops we went into, um, but yeah, I know it's going to be a great read again, so I picked up volume 2, I picked up volume 3, 
I picked up volume 9 and I picked up volume 11. Um, again, obviously, it's not going to be able. It's not going to be a series I'm able to read right now unless I read it online first. Um, so obviously, I don't have volume one. So apart from going into Forbidden Planet and Waterstones, um, my boyfriend and I did um, search up a second-hand manga shop that was in Bristol. Um, I can't remember exactly what it's called. I will pop it up on screen, um, but they advertise themselves as like a board game kind of community you can go in and buy tabletop games and also like cards so like pokemon cards Yu-Gi-Oh cards magic the gathering etc um and they did expand and their second shop has i would say about three billy bookcases full of used slash pre-owned manga um so we went in there first we thought it was gonna be brand new manga however i was looking at them and i was like these are some quite old series that you can't really get anymore you can't find anymore or they are very very expensive um and if you look at the top of them a lot of them are yellowed which again doesn't bother me you know um some manga aren't going to be in pristine condition second hand which doesn't bother me it's not very like cosmetic -y damage um, but yeah, so I will do all of these at the same time, just because they all came from the same place. Um, so first off we have First Love Monster. This is volume three. Um, I first saw this series on eBay when I was looking for some secondhand manga to buy. Um, and this came up and this kind of reminds me of a lot of like P.S. I Love You. Um, is it Pitten? No, it's not. That's the movie Say I Love You. <laughs> Um, and First Love Monster, both of which I really enjoyed the anime of. Um, so I picked, I, re I wanted this originally just because it reminded me of those. Um, so yeah, so obviously this is an older series. Um, I don't know when it came out, I'll double check. When did it come out? They're gonna say at the back. Uh, apparently it was first published in Japan in 2014. Um, so it's not really like an old old series but for some reason you can't actually find this much anymore um and a lot of the volumes on ebay go for like 15 pound each which is a little expensive for pre-owned manga um but you know what people are like with raising the price of manga you can't really find anymore um but yeah it's in pretty good condition it's not really yellowed um there is a crease here, I don't know if you can see, there's just a crease here. Um, but, you know, and it's a little yellowed up here. But, you know, it wasn't that much. Um, and yeah, it was a great find. So the other ones I found were Honey and Clover. Um, my friends have been recommending me this a lot. Apparently it's supposed to be really, really good. Um, the art style is really adorable, I must admit. Um, I don't actually know anything about Honey and Clover, um, so I kind of decided to take a risk and buy it and see what it's like. I know, again, um, these volumes are quite hard to find or they're really expensive um, because it is quite an older series. Um, obviously, it is, they are yellowed a bit. You can definitely see on there the yellow line in there. Um, yeah so i got volume six i got volume seven and i got volume eight i said earlier i only had three volumes of bl i completely forgot about these i have five volumes of bl um there's only two volumes in this series and i got both of them and that is my summer of you i got volume one and volume two and let me just tell you, I squealed so hard reading these. Oh my lord, I read them both. Literally read them both within a day. Um, if you want cheesy, lovey, romantic stuff between two boys, then I highly recommend these. Um, there is no smart. There is nothing mature or 80 plus. So if you're looking for something more on the non-steamy side, please pick these up. 
Alright, so we get the next and final be hour out of the way. Um, this is a part of a series. I don't have the entire series yet, um, but that is Can't Be Colour Paradox. Um, again, <laughs> I don't know what the plot line is exactly. Um, it's one of those that I've seen go around again. Um, I don't know, I really want to pick it up because the title was intriguing. I'm kind of one of those people that if I see an interesting title, I will pick it up um, to give it a shot. I'm not one of these that are like, yeah, I don't discriminate. Right, again, a couple of odd volumes here and there. I've just realised one of these will start to yellow, even though it's brand new. Um, but again, I'm just not going to dwell on that. So, I have four volumes of The Ancient Magus's Bride. Oh my lord, I love this anime. I've watched season one fully. Absolutely adore it. Um, I know it's a bit iffy because of they're basically selling the main girl. Um, because she's got like, I want to say superpowers, but she's got power. Um, and yeah, but I really enjoy it. It's fantasy. I absolutely adore fantasy stories. Um, but yeah, so I got volume one. I got volume four. I got volume ten. And I got volume fourteen. Now it's the last four. Oh, nearly said series. Last four volumes of the whole. Um, again a couple of like random volumes i think there are 12 volumes total in this series um it was another one that i really really wanted to pick up and that is daytime shooting star um the artwork seems really really good um the plot line seems really really good um and yeah it's kind of was like a series that i wanted to pick up i kind of stumbled across it one day when looking for other manga um and yeah, it kind of just drew me in, like, a lot, all of these, um, volumes that I bought have all drew, like, drew me in, in one way or another. So I'm really excited to read all of them. I have read about half of them so far. Um, we figured out we ha I had 49 volumes in my haul. Um, but yeah, so I'm excited to read all of them. I've read half of them. And with series like A Tropical Fish Insurance for Snow, because it's one that I really, really wanted, I know it's going to be reread pretty much until the pages disintegrate. But yeah, so I got volume one. I got volume five. I got volume six. And I got volume 12. I'm pretty sure this, yeah, this is the final volume, is there? <laughs> So, I just want to thank you all for watching this video and coming along with my birthday haul journey. It was genuinely really fun to go and find all these volumes um, and continue on my manga journey. This is, I'm a very avid reader. I've been reading since, as long as I can remember really. Um, so it's nice to finally be able to collect again it's nice to be able to get series i'm gonna read um and series i've wanted for a long time like i said at the beginning of the video i kind of started like buying manga when i was 15 16 and then kind of just stopped um i think when i stopped i had maybe eight volumes in my collection um i'd read all of them they were also series that I really enjoyed. For example, I've got volumes one and two of Blue Exorcist. I've got volume one of Death Note. Um, I do think I have a couple volumes, because I've moved, I do think I have a couple volumes that I don't currently have on my shelves um, that I do have, because I distinctly remember having volumes one of The Demon of... The Demon Prince of Momichi House. Um, I do have volume six and seven now as well. Um, I distinctly remember having volume one of Sailor Moon. I've got, also got volume six now as well. Um, and yeah, that was kind of it at the very start of my manga journey. So yeah, I, was, I wasn't one of these that could like buy them every week. It was kind of like a little treat every now and again. 
Um, so to finally be able to kind of sit down and be able to read manga again, um, especially manga that I've watched the anime from. For example, I managed to get The Melancholy of Haruhisa's Mia. Um, I got volumes one to five secondhand. That has literally been like my favorite anime from the first time I watched it when I was like 13. Um, so I'm really stoked to have those as well. Um, and yeah, it's just, I don't know, it's just, it feels nice to be able to get back into the hobby that originally, like, that kind of originally started all my hobbies. So yeah, so I'm really happy to have all of these volumes. I'm really excited to actually start all of these series as well. Um, I know obviously it will take me a while to read the rest of them, especially since obviously I don't have like volumes one for a lot of them. Um, or I'm missing a couple in the middle, but yeah, I'm really excited to start again now that I've got the money and I've got a job to be able to do it. Um, but yeah, so thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope that you've enjoyed my little haul. I say little, 48, 49 volumes is not a little haul. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed it and until the next video, I shall see you all later. Bye everyone!